Hey ho! Um, today I want to talk a little bit about Angular Jazz in combination with some Leap Motion and in combination with some Go Instant. But uh, first, of, first of all, my name is um, Robin Boom. I'm a um, software engineer, coaching consulting, and I'm part of the German Angular Jazz portal. Um, we do some articles, workshops, connecting people with Angular in Germany. So, let's go to the topic. This deck. This deck is actually um, controllable via the lip motion. Like, via, via the lip motion. So you can use swipe keys chess to control it. And um, that's not enough. Also, it's multi-client sync via go instant so you can open multiple instances on other devices and whatever just need an internet connection to the server and you can sync the slides so um, how does it work and um, so we're going to start and step by step and uh, we're beginning with the leap motion if you don't know the leap motion the leap motion is a little device that's plugged via USB to your computer and enables you to control to use an input device with your hands or some tools or something so you may can play games or something else uh, and the cool thing about it is there's a leap.js javascript api so um, there's a websocket connection on the native system uh, that is used and uh, they are com communicating and you can uh, get informed in the browser about the event uh, so I've got a leap motion here, and now I will connect this leap to my computer. And um, after a few seconds initialize, that's enough here. We are able to use swipe events to control our slides, and that's really really cool. Okay, but um, if we now look, we can swipe down, swipe up. Okay, that's cool. And um, the thing is, that's already solved. There's an official plugin in the Rebel.js plugin repository, uh, maybe three months ago. It's uh, well, it's a good pull request. So um, that's not a thing, that's cool, but that's already done. But what's about makes this reusable for um, other components, other applications? Um, and as I am um, really like the Angular JS framework, I try to make this uh, reusable inside of the Angular JS framework. So um, I try to make some directives uh, because they are easy to use and reusable components. So you just can include them into your application and use them. And um, I start with some dream code. So how that should look like. And uh, I imagine the uh, attribute like leap swipe left, doesn't swipe left, or maybe manipulating the scope with something like used increment used or something on a screen tab or whatever. So um, the implementation I've done is exactly the same as I I want to do. It's um, it's just a directive. This is an ad attribute directive. Um, for example, here's the leap screen tab. You can use um, with um, uh, pass service to pass everything you want in it. So um, now we want to control Revel with the lead directive, and um, I want to show you these um, for the best in the code. So the first thing we have to do for using it is to install the Revel JS package into our uh, project. Um, what? Using power for that? Oh, sorry, it's my my fault. It's Revel.js. Sorry. So yeah, now we have Revel.js. Also, we will need Angular. So, and also we want to use my project. It's Angular Leap. So I use the save command, save save parameter to add this to my Bower config. I uh, shall show you later. So now these three projects uh, are imported to in, into my project. So I could use it 
and uh, just need to import it via uh, to my index, but I won't show it now, it's not so interesting. Um, so the first thing I do is I introduce a new Angular application module that's called Airboom Angular Slides, it's okay, and it has a dependency to Angular Leap. And uh, now I'm able to use my directives that in the Angular Leap project inside of this module. So um, I could create something like um, um, via the, the module run, uh, bound some Revel events I have now also in the global scope to my root scope because the slides is global and root scope is fully okay for this. So I bound all those functions to the root scope. So left, up, down, right have uh, now are available at the root scope, and I can uh, after I initialize the app with ng app, I'm able to create some directives in my Ruby slides um, using Ruby script here. So don't matter about this um, to connect and call this uh, left, right, down, up definitions, what I put here in the scope, uh, inside of my application via the directives on a swipe events. So I have the swipe events here and I just can just can connect it. So all we need to connect our Vue.js slides with, with the motion is create a module, import the dependency, put, put the functions on the correct scope, for example here's the root scope, and just call them from the swipe events. That's all. That's done. And with this, we can just go here and control our slides. It's really, really easy. So that's that's awesome. That's really cool. But um, I've done a project. It's Angular Leap. I've I've shown you there. And if you want, you can join. You can commit something at feature request, whatever you like. So. Um, so now let's go to the multi client synchronization. Um, I'm using Go Instant. Go Instant is a, a platform by Salesforce and it's for real time multi user applications. So you can really s easily set up this, this kind of application. And uh, they have published a module a few days or weeks ago, I don't know exactly, that's called Go Angular. And it's for real time controller synchronization. So um, they had a little uh, picture that shows it really good. And you can see here, we have two clients, and the controller are synced, and it's so unbelievably easy that uh, I want to live code with you, and it's really really cool. So I disconnect the lead, but I don't make any random <laughs> random stuff. So um, the first thing we have to do is uh, oh, sorry is again use bar to install our Go Angular module and save and we should <laughs> install so I just install it and now I have to add another dependency so you go instant the module is called go instant and um, after I imported the dependency go instant uh, I'm able to use the um, config the offered modules, um, like a platform service um, where we can use a platform provider to configure and set our URL to um, our application on the Go Instant platform. Um, for me it's uh, my account and my application is called one. It's just a random name uh, for me. I've just created this. Um, and the second, we created another one block there we initializing um, a Go Angular object that gets the root scope and an argument slides. That says nothing more than um, get the root scope and synchronize it under the channel slides. And with, uh, with uh, initialize, we could start the synchronization. So um, now everything in the scope. Every, every instance of this Angular application synchronize the root scope via the, the slides channel. So um, we could do something like um, one, 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 one. location change start. 
that's when uh, we switch our slides so we go here left right then we want to put the slide position to the location hash split it by by the, by the by the slash so we get an array here of uh, of different parts where we did, uh, actually and we um, register a watch on this same variable so if the uh, value changes we set the first and second value just to the uh, to the to the slide value so that's that's the uh, vertical and that's the uh, horizontal no that's the horizontal that's the vertical I don't know exactly so we just set the slide at the correct position so if the location changes here in my uh, in my slide um, the change is published via GoAngular and uh, changes in another uh, another controller views view model in another, another view model changes the variable slide position uh, the root scope detects it and go to the slide so that means we have two instances of this um, of this uh, deck, and I connect my leap motion again, and uh, now we can see that they are completely synchronized, and um, it's really really quick, and um, yeah, awesome again. It's really really cool, and uh, we also can do some other stuff like. Um, Mobile, we can go via 3G. I can switch on my mobile. So, go to the URL. So, can show you the the, the current page. And if you, if you see, if I switched, if I go with my navigation here, I go even on my navigation in the mobile, or switch here, and it changes on the on the desktop. So really cool. So uh, nice. Okay, uh, that's also awesome. Okay, now let's extend the example. Uh, switching slides is easy. Okay, what's about um, a little more complex application? It's not so complex, but a little more complex, like um, this quick start voting. So I have a voting here, and I could increment and decrement it and the scope is also synchronized and um, it's maybe possible to also control it via leap motion because I've bound some uh, as we can read here leap use tab and screen tab gestures to increment the already used and no things so if I use a key tab I can increment the now no sorry and if I use the screen tab I can increment the already used. So I can control this vote even this voting it's just it's just gestures. So that's really cool. So okay zero, zero. okay something I forgot. No it's it's awesome. Oh sorry I forgot it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the that's really all. Um, here's some references for the project I've used, projects I have used, and um, yeah, go check it out. It's really cool stuff. And uh, Angular, Leap Motion, Go Instant, really awesome technologies. You should try. Okay, thanks. See you next time.